when to file ISF for track and field shoes. Good day, everyone. Welcome back to our customs brokerage series. Today, we'll be discussing an important topic for those involved in the sports industry, when to file an ISF for track and field shoes. So, let's jump right in. Before we delve into the details, let's briefly review what an importer security filing, or ISF, is. An ISF is a document required by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for most ocean shipments arriving in the United States. It provides crucial information about the cargo to ensure secure and efficient processing through customs. Now, when it comes to track and field shoes, the timing of ISF filing is essential. The ISF must be filed no later than 24 hours before the cargo is loaded onto the vessel destined for the United States. Failure to comply with this requirement may result in penalties and delays in clearing customs. To determine the exact timing for filing an ISF for track and field shoes, there are a few factors to consider. Firstly, you need to determine the manufacturer or supplier's shipping schedule, as this will dictate when the shoes will be loaded onto the vessel. Next, you should consider the transit time of the vessel from the port of origin to the United States. This can vary depending on the shipping route and port congestion, so it's important to coordinate with your freight forwarder or customs broker to get accurate information. Additionally, you'll need to factor in the lead time required for ISF preparation and submission. It's advisable to start the process well in advance, allowing ample time for any potential issues or revisions that may arise. Now, let's briefly touch on customs bonds. A customs bond is a contractual agreement between the importer or their customs broker and the surety company. It guarantees the payment of any customs duties, taxes, and fees owed to the government. While filing an ISF is mandatory for track and field shoes, obtaining a customs bond is not always required. However, it may be beneficial to have one in place, especially if you frequently import goods. A customs bond can expedite the customs clearance process and provide financial protection in case of any non-compliance issues. To summarize, when it comes to filing an ISF for track and field shoes, it's crucial to adhere to the 24-hour rule before the cargo is loaded onto the vessel. Take into account the shipping schedule, transit time, and lead time for ISF preparation. And consider obtaining a customs bond to streamline the customs clearance process and mitigate any risks. That's all for today's topic. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you have any questions or if there are any topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of our upcoming videos. Until next time.